Today we're going to talk about the web service APIs that are in Trackit. The APIs were added in Trackit 2019, so the first thing you want to check is the version number of the Trackit product that you're running. And as long as it is this 2019.1 or higher, then you should have the web service APIs built into the product. The REST APIs are REST APIs, and there is documentation in the Track It 2019 docs at docs.bmc.com that go over basic usage of the API. But we have also included a user interface tool that helps you test out the APIs and see how they work and see which calls are available to you. So you can actually play around with them a little bit, test out some submitting of different parameters and things like that, and see what kind of results you get back. So if you're a developer who wants to write integrations between Trackit and another system in your company, or if you, let's say, have your own custom self-service page that you've been using for years and you just want to hook up to Trackit and let your users continue to log tickets that way and have them go into the Trackit system, then you can use the web service APIs that are built into Trackit to do that integration. So you notice here I already have my Trackit application up here in my browser, but I'm not going to log in at this time. I'm going to actually type in the URL to go to this UI tool that shows you how to use the web service APIs. Of course, this server name here is going to be different for you. It's going to be the IP address or the domain name of your Trackit server or the computer name, whatever that may be. And then your Trackit website may actually just be all one word Trackit, or some of them have a hyphen, depends on how you've configured it when you installed it. And then we're going to remove this part because we're not going to use the standard login. And we're just going to type web API and hit enter. Now if you have the correct version of Trackit installed, this will process for a minute while the site starts up and then it'll display the web service API user interface that we have created for you. So here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and maximize this just to get the full window. Here is a list of all the currently available APIs and we'll be adding more uh, with each release that comes out. If you want to see the documentation for the API, there's a nice handy link here at the top. So you can click that. It takes you right to the docs site where the documentation is for this particular version. It shows you the version of Trackit that you're running up here as well. And you'll notice that there are some things listed here. These are the actual API groupings that we have. So if we click on Ticket, for example, this is going to expand out and show you all the different API calls that are currently available for tickets. And with each API call, you see a little description of what each one does. And you'll see that some are gets, which means they're getting data from the server, and some are posts, which means they're posting data back to the server. The nice thing about this tool here is it lets you use in real time the API as an example and see what kind of data it returns. So it really helps somebody who's writing some custom code and a custom integration. So let's do the uh, get tickets one just as an example. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and you'll see it shows you the the type of class it is, and it's got some example values here, which are blank because I haven't done anything yet. And you'll see there's a, a way you can actually pass a parameter here and try it out. So you'll see that this particular API call, it says it returns the sequence, the display names, and the values of all the fields for a particular ticket. So if I put a ticket ID in here and hit try it out, it should go ahead and return it. So I know this isn't going to work, but I'm just going to show you, for example, why it doesn't work. I'm going to hit try it out. And you'll notice it says authorization has been denied for this request. So, so if I scroll up, you'll notice there's a little red exclamation point here. So if I click on that, it's asking me for a login for Trackit. And so I'm going to go ahead and log in with my administrator account. And the way this works, in all caps, I have to type the group, then a backslash, and then my user ID, which is administrator. And then I have to type my password. Don't worry about this client authentication here. Just click Authorize. And the page will refresh. And in a few seconds, it'll refresh again once the session gets established. And you'll notice now I've got a little blue information thing here, which basically means I'm authenticated now. So now if I come down here and type in an ID value, this is one of my ticket IDs from Trackit, and I say try it out, it's going to fire off this get API call, and it's going to pass in the appropriate URL. And now you can see what comes back here. There's the ticket ID, value 102, tells you the last modified date, the person who was the last user, 
the requester ID, and all the other information about the ticket. You can see the requester's name, the requester's location, basically everything about the ticket. This user interface is a really handy way to play around with the APIs, get to know what parameters you can use in them and what the data looks like when it's returned. And it's a, it's a really nice interactive way to learn about them. Of course, the documentation is available. You can go ahead and review that as well. But I would recommend using the documentation along with this to really help you come up to speed on how to use the APIs. So that's all we have for this video today. I hope this information has been helpful to you. And on behalf of everyone here at BMC Software, we thank you for being a Tracker customer. For more videos in this free training series, visit docs.bmc.com and search for Track It. Click on the version you have and look for the free video training button that's on the main page of the docs page for that version. Thank you for watching.